These are the colours I'm using today. It's a metallic purple. Well, it doesn't say anything else, purple. Then we've got um, the Acoldo silver, the Acoldo gold, the Acoldo bronze, uh, just the cheap make of green metallic, and this cheap black. So I'm going to try something new today. Okay, what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to get a bit of a black base, just squidge it on there. Right, I'll carry on doing this, then you go and fast forward to the next bit, okay. You do okay, so I'm just going to do a flip cup onto this with the metallics. I have put a little bit of silicone in here, so get rid of that in. Just give me a stir first. Bit of gold. Still the bronze, the copper. This is the metallic purple. And a bit of the green. Right. Should I pour a bit more in? I think I will. I'll just pour turn a bit more in. Because it's a larger canvas than I'm used to. The one place where you think you're safe, in your garage, and somebody comes knocking at the door. Never mind. Okay, so give it a bit of a swirl. I'm not sure whether that will be going to work. I'll just leave that for a few moments. I'll come back. Okay, I forgot to put a hole in the bottom, so I'm just going to see if I can do it now without cutting my fingers off. I'm not looking too good actually. Alright, once you get a hole in there, so I'll just let it fall down for a couple more seconds. Luckily, my hands. Just want to let the extras drip into there. I have no problems with them dripping in. Actually, get some nice round patterns with them. For now. Uh, let me just check the camera, make sure you can see what I can see. I hope you're seeing this too.
Just leave that there for now. I've forgot my, forgotten my uh, torch, so I'm going to get it. Yeah, I've just raised the board up as well. Um, then uh, it doesn't go all over the, uh, the paper, what's under here. The paper's only cheap. Got a big massive roll of it for a pound, so it's no problem. Right, so I think I'll start adding a few more bits. I can't forget the black. I know the base is black, but still need a bit of a uh, contrast in it. I need to touch these bits up after where I've had my hands. Try and work out what colour I'd put down first. I think it was the bronze, purple. Let's see if we can sort of replicate that again but in a slightly different way. Take it that way first. I'll just add a bit more black near the edge. Sorry if you can't see this. Just mixing these colours up now. <laughs> Faster that one.
wasn't sure how much paint this canvas was going to take. It's a 50 centimetre by 70 centimetre, which is I think about 18 inches by 27 and a half inches, somewhere around there. This is the biggest pour I've done so far. Probably do some more of these. Well, I will do some more of these. I've got some more canvases, so I'll definitely do some more of these. So, I hope you like them. If not, you're going to get bored. <laughs> Just short of a bit of music, but well, again, then again, I don't know what YouTube are going to do about background music. Uh, someone said they couldn't see one of my videos earlier today, which I don't know why, but I did have background music on it. If you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. Nothing offensive or anything. I took that bit off. <laughs> some black in there to give it some nice lines. I don't know how much of this you can see but I'm guessing you probably can't see a lot of it. Just let the pin pin run down a little into the sides. And I'll take it, drag it back again. I think I'm quite happy with that. Quite happy, apart from a few of these little marks here, which maybe I can go over with a black paint. So I don't really want to put any more paint on it. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that as is. Should I torch? Can hear people say, yeah, yeah, no, no. I think I will I'll just give it a light torch and see if anything comes up. May not. No. Seems to be getting rid of air bubbles more than anything. Well, I've been thinking too many air bubbles in there. Done. What do you guys think? Hope you like it. I'll do some close-ups. <laughs>